Well, good morning. Okay, how am I feeling today? Really fucking quite good. Excuse my French. Um, yeah. Yesterday, um, yesterday was a good day. Um, I wasn't feeling too good in the morning, and then I just, I, it, literally, I was sitting here all day thinking to myself, I really ought to use this equipment and actually go and swim somewhere. But believe it or not, got to be honest, I was I, I spent most of the day building up the courage to do it for some strange reason. So eventually I got to the point where I got my gear together, put it all in the car. Hello, hello. Well, I grabbed my gear and I'm down at the river. So I'm going to do a little recce of it uh, to see whether it's... Uh, really what I'm doing, really, is I'm, I'm building up the courage to go and swim in there. The problem I've got is... I mean, I've got... There's a van next to me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's all a bit weird getting changed in a... Yeah, to, to go and swim in a, in a river. I suppose I'm just sort of just trying to gird my loins, if you like, to do it. Anyway, let's see what happens. I'll speak soon. So, did I or did I not manage to gird my loins and get into the uh, get into the river? Um, the answer is yes, I did, um, and I'm so glad I did. Okay, first world swim. <sighs> Wish me luck. See you soon. So there you have it. Um, sadly, no footage of the swim um, because I was on my own. I, I had my, uh, I didn't want to take like my phone and put it on the bank or all that kind of thing because I was going to swim up and down. You know, very easy to, to lose this kind of stuff. But um, yeah, it was weird. Um, I spent fifteen minutes sitting in the car trying to work out whether or not I was actually going to do it or not. But when I got in, it was amazing. It was just fantastic. Um, and it's given me this new perspective uh, on on my life. It's I sort of almost I haven't fixed myself because that's just stupid. It's been too soon, but I've almost got like a purpose, a more of a purpose, and I think it's it's a really difficult thing to sort of quantify. Um, I, I I was in there, and yet it was cold when I first got in there. I wore a wetsuit, um, but even so, I mean, I, the water wasn't warm, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. In fact, when I got in there, I didn't want to get out. It was it was fantastic. Swimming, I swam, you know, quite a way up and down. Um, I mean, it's quite a lot. You can do a good swim there. You can do about one and a half kilometres there to pass them one way, and then you can go to the weir the other way. Uh, and it's quite deep. I mean, I couldn't touch the... Uh, I didn't realise how deep it was. Couldn't touch the um, the ground. But there is a nice ramp to get in. But it was quite amusing. So it did get deep quite quickly. And, uh, yeah, I ended up up to my neck. And I thought, well, this is going to be interesting. But actually, I coped pretty well. Um, so, yeah, I I really didn't want to get out. I, I, it was just one of the best things. And I'm not, I'm not over-exaggerating this. It's one of the best things I've done. Um, so... It's going to be my new thing. I'm, I'm definitely going to carry on with this. In fact, it's given me more of an idea of how I'm going to uh, progress with this now than than was before. Because originally I thought, well, you know, I've heard about it being uh, a cure for depression. Well, cure, that's just, that's a silly term. You can't cure depression. You can make it a whole lot better and you can uh, deal with it. Um, so that combined with this lovely book, which some of you may or may have, this is Waterlogged by Roger Deakin. Um, what a book this is, and it's his own self-discovery, you know, and he swam round, you know, all the lakes and rivers and seas of Britain, so I'm, I want to do the similar thing. Um, the thing is, what I've found is that I've been holding on to extraneous rubbish as some things that are important. So, you know, I've got a list here, good things about my life, bad things about my life that I've been making. You know, and all the good things are stuff that isn't extraneous rubbish. 
So for instance, um, money. What is money? There's an old saying, oh, money doesn't buy you happiness. Um, and I used to think, well, no, probably not, but it doesn't half make it, it doesn't half help. Um, but actually, it's not money that, that actually helps. It's not money that actually helps. Yeah, it makes you more comfortable. It makes you be able to do certain things you want to do. But those things are extraneous stuff. Having said that, though, I got a wetsuit. I got some gear. So that all takes money. Uh, but I don't have to do that. If I, I could have just got a pair of trunks I already own and started diving in some canals and rivers. Well, not canals. That would be that would be wrong. Uh, rivers, lakes, and and God knows what else. So I think, um, yeah, it's it's weird. I'm 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 I've sort of it's a strange situation. I've sort of undergone. I don't want to overstate this, but I've sort of undergone an epiphany, really. Um, so my actual plan is is to um, make this part of my life because the river I swam in yesterday was there thousands of years before I was born and will continue to be there thousands of years after I'm gone and what's it done? It's naturally meandered, it naturally exists. That's a simple way of putting, why don't we live our lives in a slightly simpler way? Why does everything have to be so complicated all the times? And I think that's what happens in the world. We complicate things to the point where we then start over-analyzing, worrying, which leads to anxiety and can lead to depression. Now, of course, not everybody's depressive, so certain things won't get on top of people like they do for, for depressives, but it's about dealing with that stuff. So I'm, I'm actually going to start rather rather like in the vein of Roger Deakin in Waterlog, but I don't I don't want to copy it because that's that's you know that's that's his work that's what he's done but I'm gonna you know I'm just gonna go on this journey of self-discovery I think I, I really think that's what I'm gonna do uh, and I'm gonna blog about it on this blog and if it all goes well I might well write about it because I love a bit of writing those of you who know me know I am attempting to write a book you know 15 16 thousand no 20 odd thousand words in currently on that book but writing so hard but if you've got like something you really you know if you've got a topic that you really um interest you it's, it's, it's interesting the problem is it's about you know it, do we grab stuff and i don't want this to be another oh grab at it like it's some kind of um like it's just it's some kind of desperation I mean, it's, you know, coping mechanisms are a funny situation. Everyone has coping mechanisms, everyone, to deal with different things the way, the, 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 the way their lives are. But whether those coping mechanisms are, are right for us is something you have to discover. Now, over the last month or so, well, for a long time, I've, I enjoy drink. Now, at one time, I could just enjoy a drink. But drink, 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 for me, hasn't become an addiction or anything. I'm not like an alcoholic. But it's almost become, um, it's a strange thing. I'm now getting to the point where I'm thinking, do you know what? Why do I need to put this stuff in me? Why do I need to drink? The thing is, I don't. I really don't. Um, Sunday was funny. I drank all day Sunday. Sunday lunchtime, started getting it down my neck. I think nothing of it. And I was still drinking in the evening to the point where I drunk. I've I'd just been drinking all day. That's not good, is it? What, why? What's the point? What would have been better is, is if I'd have gone out for a swim, felt much better, maybe had a pint and some food and then just cracked on. Or no pints. What does it do for me? Now, yeah... Drinking is, is, is nice. You, it makes you feel good. But when it makes you feel bad, that's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It really isn't. 
So uh, anyway, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a tangent type of thing. But um, yeah, when's my next swim? Well, I'm hoping Friday. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to be travelling over to Oxfordshire to see my brother Friday, um, and we're going to do uh, we're going to do a lake near where he is, I think. So that's cool. Um, I think it's, I want to I want to get in today, but um, I think that that would be. Let's just re- let's just reflect on what uh, we have. But um, yeah, man, I'm gonna. This is something that I'm definitely going to be working on. There's so much I want to say, but uh, we shall leave that to uh, other other times. But you've, it's about me being honest with myself. Got to be honest. All this stupidity running around. You know. The big I am, all this kind of stuff. You know. I don't need it. Life, nature, the way of the world, getting in touch with what's really important in life. Family, friends, um, my work, my really good job, which I really, really love. And that's all nature. That's part of nature. It's about embracing this stuff. It's just about seeing it. It's about seeing it. And that's where I'm going to be going forward. Not being a liar to myself anymore. Convincing myself, oh, this is the, this is cool. This is the right thing to do. Whee, look at all the drink I'm having. Or look at all the stupidity and the ridiculousness. And the, no need for it. No need for it. It's ridiculous. What's the point? It just makes you miserable. Happiness is the most important thing. It's weird when you stop and think, when you do something that that, like, that changes your perspective. I've only swum once, but it's funny. Everything I've seen, everything I've read, including Waterlog, it's like that first swim, it opens your eyes. You look around you, and you think, what? Well, this is just, this is just so much more important than all the extraneous crap. Anyway, that was a bit of a long rant. Well, not even a rant, really. But yeah, you can probably tell I'm feeling a lot better. Let's hope it continues. So, no more drink today. Again, Wednesday, I've got a quiz. I'm going to a quiz. I like a quiz. Uh, Probably have a couple of pints, but I'm going to limit myself. I'm going to stick to a specific limit because I can't be bothered with waking up feeling miserable as fuck. A few swear words. I do apologise, but um, there we go. I'll tell you what. Read this. This book is brilliant. Real perspective on life. Anyway, onwards and upwards, I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care.